Good evening, so it's Stephen from burgundywine.com and we're in the Domaine de Crome, uh, the heart of Burgundy and it is a really beautiful, hot, sunny evening here. Um, we're doing another one of our food and wine pairings. We've been down to the cellar and chilled uh, Chateau de Vergesson, Cuile Cuisse, Sur la Roche. And earlier in the market, Ellie went and picked up these two amazing turbots. We didn't have anything planned. We just go to the market, see what they have, and buy the best ingredients possible. And when you get the best ingredients possible, you don't have to do that much with them. And this couldn't be any simpler. We're gonna just literally roast it whole in the oven. Afterwards, that's when we'll debone it. We'll take the fillets off. It'll be served with a warm garden salad, a split, pea, a split capers with some courgette flour. So this is the leftover, the remnants of the split capers. It's just a uh, butter. So you can see the sediment is there. And very, very carefully, what I'll do is season or scent or oil the fish with that flavored butter already. And later on in the recipe, you'll see how that flavoured butter comes about. So you can see here. The whole point of this, just saying again, is just to keep it simple. When you've got great ingredients like we do here, you don't have to do too much about it. You just have to not ruin them. So enjoy the recipe. I'll speak to you at the end or I'll speak to you during it um, and talk about the wine also. We'll have a tasting, separate tasting of the wines and and lots of social media about the pairing and check out our YouTube channel, Facebook and Instagram. It's Stephen from BurgundyWine.com Here we have our warm seasonal garden salad. We've also managed to get some salad corn or samphire um, from the poissonaire or the fishmonger. It's really important to remember that you can just use the best ingredients possible in your area. That's always the best way to cook. For the split capers, fry in pure butter. Then we strain. Important to set aside the capers onto kitchen paper. As they dry, they will crisp up. One of the great things about this process is we're left with a really nice clarified, flavored butter with which to roast our turbot. Next we're going to blanch and refresh just some of our ingredients for the warm salad. Very important when you are doing this process that your boiling water is on a rolling boil, extremely hot, and your cooling water is ice cold. That way the process is very quick and you retain all the nutrients, color and goodness in all those vegetables. We're really lucky here to have a fantastic garden and we just got this green tomato, picked it a few minutes before the recipe, so everything that's good is retained in it. Again, you can see the blanching and refreshing method here, iced water with a rolling boil. That way we retain everything that's good and we can remove the skin, which can be slightly tough in this type of salad. We will be keeping the seeds as part of our dressing. Don't be afraid, as we said at the beginning, to use any of the good local ingredients that you have in your area. Something a little different with our warm salad dressing, we're going to finely dice some shallot, add some good quality burgundy white wine. We'll reduce that down. The wine is scented with the shallot and a couple of bay leaves from the garden. We'll reduce this down, add a little bit of fish stock to it, warm the salad later. So here we can see we've got some freshly boiled garden potatoes and a mix of our pre-blanched and raw garden vegetables. We're just going to dice them all up to the appropriate size so that they warm together. These beautiful garden beans, again, were picked just few minutes ago they were blanched and refreshed next we take our turbot it couldn't be any simpler 
we just roast in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. As you can see, and we spoke about earlier, we kept it on the bone. This is to retain flavor. As it cooks, the flavor from the bone will add to the flavor of the dish. Now we're gonna to put together our warm garden salad. White burgundy wine infused with shallot and bay leaf. We've added some fish stock. At this stage, the pan is quite hot. The heat has been removed underneath because we do not want to cook the vegetables. We just want to warm them through. We've blanched some of them. Some of them have been left raw to achieve the perfect texture. We're so lucky to have such amazing ingredients here during the summer, especially coming from the garden at the Domain de Chrome. It's quite a rich dish. And at this stage, we're thinking about the company wine. We've chosen a Domaine de Chateau de Vergesson. Puy les Fuisay, Sieur La Roche to go with this dish, so. Our mouth is st are starting to salivate. Seasoning is always very important. Set aside. And now we come to the fish, which has been in the oven for 15 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Very carefully remove the skin. You see the nice firm fillets underneath. Again, we spoke about cooking on the bone. Anything that you cook on the bone, you retain extra flavor. The flavors of the bone go into the flesh. You'll be able to bone all this fish set aside on a warm platter. One of my favorite parts of turbot, brill, these type of fishes is the cheek. Really tasty. So make sure you don't forget them. To plate is so simple. We have our warm salad. Make sure we have a nice piece of the dressing. Nicely seasoned. The turbot that's been cooked on the bone comes next. Seasoning again, just to check, very important. A little bit of fresh lemon, just to add some acidity. We'll have great acidity from the wine that we've chosen today as well. And finally, our split capers, which we've chopped some fresh courgette flour into. Another summer delight from burgundywine.com and Eldon Selections. Thanks and see you soon.